Russia and Air Force have this terrifying jet with backwards wings. Did the never-produced Russian Su-47 Burkut fighter achieve anything notable? It's an intriguing question, given that the not-so-stealthy aircraft was designed to push the technological envelope with increased maneuverability, range, and anti-spin capabilities. There is a case to be made for what the demonstrator aircraft introduced, which explains why it is frequently referred to as a forerunner to Russia's much stealthier fifth-generation PAC-FA Su-57 fighter jet. But what is the distinctive attribute of this fighter jet? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Future Warplanes, where we tell you about military fighter jets, military drones, and military planes, from the currently famous in the air to the most advanced around the world. So stay with us till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of this information. And before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our amazing videos in the future. And let's begin. The Sukhoi Design Bureau in Moscow, Russia developed the Su-47 fighter aircraft, formerly known as the S-37 Burkitt or Golden Eagle, and it made its first flight in September 1997. The Su-47 has a forward-swept wing configuration and an aerodynamic configuration that is highly unstable triplane, three main lifting surfaces. Some systems and component designs from the Su-27, the all-weather supersonic fighter aircraft with a NATO reporting name Flanker, were retained, such as the canopy, landing gear, some avionics, and the near vertical tails. Su-47 Development Information The Burkitt was born in the final years of the Soviet Empire, when the Soviet Air Force began funding the forward-swept wing program with Sukhoi in 1983. The product began as a S-32 before evolving into the Su-37 and finally the Su-47. The program was first leaked in 1996, and the West assumed it was the working prototype for a Russian fifth-generation fighter, possibly to compete with the American F-22, which was also in development at the time. The S-32 made its first flight on September 25, 1997, and its first public display was in August of 1999 at Zukovsky. The aircraft achieved supersonic flight in August of 2000, and it was clear by then that the S-32, or Su-37 design, was only a true technology demonstrator and not a direct prototype to something new. In 2007, the Su-37 was renamed the Su-47. At subsonic speeds, the Su-47 has extremely high agility. Sukhoi was chosen as a prime contractor for Russia's next-generation PAC-FA fighter program in May 2002. The PAC-FA fighter plane is based on the Su-47 but lacks the forward-swept wings. On January 29, 2010, the PAC-FA fighter aircraft completed its first flight test. The design of the prototype with very high maneuverability is based on avionics and aerodynamics technologies developed for the Su-27 upgrade program. The aircraft was never mass-produced, and the sole aircraft was used as a technology demonstrator, and it serves as the foundation for the Su-57, a fifth-generation supersonic stealth fighter. The Su-47 Burkitt was on display at the International Aviation and Space Salon, MAX, 2019, which took place in August 2019 at Zukovsky International Airport in Moscow. Maneuverability of the Su-47 the Su-47 has exceptionally high agility at subsonic speeds, allowing the aircraft to quickly change its angle of attack and flight path, and it retains maneuverability in supersonic flight. The Su-47 aircraft is extremely maneuverable, with excellent stability and controllability at all angles of attack. Maximum turn rates and upper and lower airspeed limits for weapon launch are important criteria for combat superiority in close combat, as well as at medium and long range, when the mission may entail engaging consecutive targets in various sectors of the airspace. The Su-47's high turn rate allows the pilot to quickly turn the fighter aircraft towards the next target to initiate the weapon launch. When compared to a swept back wing of the same area, the swept forward wing has the following advantages. Higher lift to drag ratio, greater capacity in dogfight maneuvers, greater range at subsonic speed, improved stall resistance, and anti-spin characteristics, increased stability at high angles of attack, a lower minimum flight speed, and a shorter takeoff and landing distance. Su-47 Wing Fuselage The fuselage of the Su-47's oval and cross-section and the airframe is made primarily of aluminum and titanium alloys with 13% of the weight made up of composite materials. To improve the aircraft's anti-spin characteristics, the nose radome is slightly flattened at the fore section and has a horizontal edge. Wings that sweep forward The Su-47's unusual and distinguishing feature is its forward-swept mid-wing. The inner portion of the wingspan generates the majority of the lift generated by the forward-swept wing, and wingtip stall has no effect on lift. 
The wing control surfaces remain effective even at the highest angles of attack, and the aircraft maintains control even when airflow separates from the remainder of the wing surface. The Su-47's wing panels are made up of nearly 90% composites. The aspect ratio of the forward swept midwing is high, which contributes to long-range performance. The leading edge root extensions blend seamlessly with the wing panels, which have deflectable slats on the leading edge and flaps and ailerons on the trailing edge. The leading edge root extensions are linked to the all-moving and small area trapezoidal canards. Armament. The experimental fighter plane Su-47 has 14 hardpoints. Two wing tips, six to eight underwing, six four conformal under fuselage. Air to air missiles, R-77, R-77PD, R-73, and K-74 are installed at the hard points. It is also equipped with the X-29T, X-29L, X-59M, X-31P, X-31A, KAB-500, and KAB-1500 air to surface missiles. Su-47 Burkett Flight Deck. The cockpit was designed with the goal of keeping the pilot comfortable while also allowing the pilot to control the aircraft in extremely high G-load maneuvers. The aircraft has a new ejection seat and life support system. The variable geometry adaptive ejection seat is inclined at a 60 degree angle, reducing the pilot's exposure to high G forces. The seat allows for dogfight maneuvers with significantly higher G loadings than the pilot can normally tolerate. And the pilot controls the aircraft with a side mounted low travel control stick and a tensometric throttle. Landing equipment. The landing gear is retractable tricycle style with a single wheel at each unit. The smaller nose wheel retracts toward the back of the aircraft while the two main wheels retract forward into the wing roots. Engine. Two D30 F6 turboshaft engines power the Su-47 fighter aircraft. Each engine can generate approximately 83.4 kN of dry thrust. The engines used in passenger planes that fly short distances. The engine's length and fan tip diameter are 3.9 meters and 1.05 meters respectively, and its dry weight and delivery weight are 1,550 kilograms and 1,712 kilograms respectively. A thrust reverser and a low pressure compressor are also included in the engine. Performance of the Su-47 The Su-47 fighter plane can claim at a rate of 233 meters per second. The top speed is 1,800 kilometers an hour. The aircraft's maximum takeoff weight is 34,000 kilograms, and the wing loading and maximum G-force are 360 kilograms per square mile and 9G, respectively. Comparisons of the F-22 the Su-57 and F-22, on the other hand, have rear-swept wings, and at the same time, some of the Su-47 and Su-57 design features appear to be an attempt to mimic the F-22's dual-engine rear configuration. In this regard, the Su-47 could very well have informed or greatly influenced the development of the Su-57, which, as a fifth-gen fighter, is said to be highly maneuverable. And that's going to do it for today's video, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click on the like button and make sure you share it with all your friends and family. And let us know if you have any comments for us. Plus, make sure you subscribe to our channel to see even more incredible videos. We appreciate you watching today, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.